Time to Feed the Trolls, Season 3. Hello, this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel, and it's time once again to Feed the Trolls. I apologize for the long absence. I was actually iced in. We lost power for a few days, the water went out, a bunch of bad stuff, so I really haven't had time to do any kind of filming. But now that spring is here, I'm sure I'll be knocked out by some thunderstorm or something, so... Eh, such is life. Anyway, the troll we're gonna be doing today is none other than Ted Nugent. Now, some of you might argue that Ted Nugent really isn't a troll, to which I respond, eh. My name is Ted Nugent, full-time. I'm addicted to freedom. Well, you're addicted to something. I'm the American dream. Nah, motherfucker, you are not the American dream. Soji Dabuchi is the American dream. You're the American accident where we've fallen asleep after taking a ton of laxatives and a ton of sleep aids. How you doing? Well, I'm, uh, you know, I'm doing all right. Okay, switching to the uh, gun control debate. Yes. And the debate. Um, Is there a gun control with... debate? Because I haven't heard it here May lately. Maybe not. <laughs> Get it? Because Ted's at a gun show. And people who are not interested in guns would probably not be at a gun show. <laughs> uh, you get it? It's funny. Because Ted has brain damage. Not here. Um, there's, no, there really isn't a gun control debate. But how do you debate? define... Well, that's true. There really isn't any kind of gun control debate What well, with all the, you know, debates about gun control. Find your role in the larger debate. Well, because you seem to... I think... Is Ted Nugent a lizard? I think... Upon honest examination, I'm 65 years old. I've been 65 years clean and sober. Yeah, bullshit, Ted. The gifts that God gave me were respected and revered to the point throughout my life that I laughed in the face of the peer pressure lie. While screwing underage girls in your 30s. I laugh in the face of the subhuman punks with their drugs and alcohol and tobacco and, and insanity. I need to kill a deer with a sharp stick at close range. I don't feel like a man unless I'm covered in some animal's blood. And that's completely normal behavior, I think. I need to kill a deer with a sharp stick at close range. I can't compromise my predator radar. Are you with me? What? I can't compromise my predator radar. Are you with me? You can't compromise your predator radar. What, you mean like this? <laughs> but if Ted Nugent had that kind of radar, wouldn't that logically mean... This is alien. This is alien! It's trying to conquer us all by driving us insane! No, 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 no I'm not. I'm not going back to that, no. Besides, as far as aliens go, I doubt Ted would actually look like that. I have a feeling he'd look more like this. Or maybe this. Hey, Tom Jot, human. Eh, you know, actually, I could see Ted being a Nausicaan. I have to play music and communicate with the world's greatest musicians. I have to play music and communicate with the world's greatest musicians. Sure you do, honey. Sure you do. How dare I reduce my level of communicative skills with my rhythm section and the people who bought a ticket to my concert to fail to perform the most impacting spiritual and guttural primal scream rhythm and blues soundtrack in the history of the world. That's true. How could we possibly deprive the world of your obvious greatness? I mean, well, of course, I mean, we'd have to if you were either dead or in jail, but there's no reason for you to either be dead or in jail by now, is there, Ted? I definitely want a copy of that. Um, so, so the gun debate is, and that, that I, and I gotta tell you, I'm not bragging because I didn't plan this. But the anti-gunners pounced on me viciously as early as 1965, 1966. Oh, poor little boy, poor Teddy. Did those mean old anti-gunners come after you? Before anybody maybe in this room knew there was a culture war. Now that's quite a statement. Because we're in the room of people who are impacted by freedom haters. Oh yeah, 
Yes, having the stance that you don't want any old insane person to have the capacity to go into any public area and just kill whoever the hell they want clearly makes you a freedom hater. Well, we're at it if that psychopath who thinks that tomatoes are telling him to kill pregnant women wants grenades. Well, that's his God-given Second Amendment right, too. Just so long as he ain't a gay. Because if he's a gay, there's a problem. And hate the freedom haters with Avengers. Because meeting hate with more hate solves all problems. As we should. We should hate Nazis and the Klan. Really? Because those guys fucking love you. We should hate the Black Panther punks who commit felonies and destroy innocent lives. So hate is a good emotion. Yes, let's fight hate with more hate because hate is good. When I experience the first volley of hate towards me because I eat venison. Who gives a shit if you eat venison? I've eaten venison. You sure this is genuine hate coming at you and not just you interpreting stuff as hate? And carry a gun. I, I couldn't control the laughter because the people that were spewing this hate had little foam puddles of spittle in the corner of their mouth. You mean like how you have big tufts of hair coming out of your nose? Fresh from an LSD experiment. Swear to God, these were hippies right. attacking me because I had a gun for self-defense and all the other perfect reasons. Like shooting them illegals what cross our border. No, really, he said that. And that I actually killed deer to feed my family. Two of the most pure, perfect functions that God wants mankind to perform. Hey, and blood sacrifice, don't forget that. And here are guys that are intentionally poisoning themselves with mind and spirit destroying chemicals trying to tell me that I'm on the wrong track. And of course, I would actually reach across the table at a radio station, and because I'm the only guitar player that actually has a handkerchief, and I would take my handkerchief and I would reach over to the disc jockey live on the air and I go, so let me get this right. You think that precious, living, breathing creatures created by God should be described as a cartoon character. You're angry because I shoot Bambi? When it's from a helicopter, yes. Really? And I'd reach over and I'd actually wipe the spittle from their mouth and I'd go, and what's this we have here, son? Why, Mr. Nugent, that would be a handkerchief. You know, it's a square of cloth that people fold up and put in their pockets generally, you know. Are you okay? You're out of your cotton-picking mind. And he is totally not racist. And of course they attack me for referencing cotton-picking, but um, being that as it may... He says as he appears to shove the cloth up his ass. Um, I've had so much fun with this. Before any of you witnessed me go Pierce Morgan on that subhuman punk, I was doing that 40 years ago. And I did it just like I did Pierce Morgan. I did it on their programs. And you both looked like morons the whole time. And here's the beauty of me. They invited me back to do it over and over again. Because you looked like a moron the whole time. Because if you're stoned, you don't understand the truth. I don't know, Ted. I mean, you're not stoned, but clearly you're batshit insane. But the listening audience and the producers loved it. Because you looked like a moron, you moron! Get it through your fucking empty skull, Ted! You're a joke! You sang Cat Scratch Fever 35 fucking years ago, and ever since then it's been shh. Yeah, because I kept it funny. Well, actually, Ted's got a point there. He did keep it funny. I.e. handkerchiefs and spittle live on the air, and I was just a dumb teenager. But I understood that what my dad taught me about precious creatures that we thank God for every November. Ah, thank God for all these creatures or I'd have to act like a fucking human being. Ah. During the natural God created season of harvest. Thank God for this bountiful harvest of gore. <laughs> was so perfect that anyone who would attempt to find fault with it had to be mentally deranged. Ah, if you don't like doing this, you're fucking insane! Now where the hell are those goddamn koalas? There they are! Ah! 
Now, I would pity and try to help most mentally deranged people, but not when you actually take a substance knowing it will derange your mentality and then act upon your derangement in defiance of the truth. So I would just reach up their ass with my, my, <laughs> my fighting gloves, pull out their guts and slap them with it. Yes, if you take any kind of drug, you're insane. Now let me explain how insane you are by a metaphor of me pulling out your intestines and slapping you over the face with them. Because clearly, that's the sign of being mentally stable. Which is quite a visual unto itself. Yes. Um, theoretically speaking, metaphorically speaking. Yes, Ted, we know it's a metaphor. I have a feeling, personally, that you would shit your pants if you actually had to face the repercussions of what you just described. So, so the, the, the gun debate is about Good people having the individual right from God, guaranteed by the U.S. Constitution, to stop evil people. Yes, Ted, that's the gun control debate. Good, godly people being charged by God to, with lethal force, kill those they consider bad. Now, who could possibly argue with that? If you find fault with that, you are on the side of the evil people. Yes, good godly people charged by God and given weapons by God to go kill people who disagree with them. Because if you disagree with those people who are charged by God to kill people who they consider bad, indeed you are also bad and need to be killed. It's a very simple thing to wrap your head around if you have brain damage. Duh. So, last question. 2016. 2016, which doesn't mean anything to Ted Nugent because he's dead. I mean, he's in jail. I mean, he's a pussy. 2016. 2016. There it is. The perfect ballet of freedom would be if this happened. Oh. Oh, man. God. God, if you're real, please, that would be the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. To see this bony, racist, pedophilic asshole be wiped out completely on the national stage would be fucking amazing. Um, because I could go Pierce Morgan on Barack. I could go Pierce Morgan on any of them because even the GOP is so busy adjusting their tie they wouldn't know how to sell a blanket to a naked man in the blizzard. Doctor, what is it? His intelligence is increasing at an almost toddler-like rate. If this keeps going, we'll be able to wipe his own ass by Friday. My God. <laughs> Again with the tongue, is Ted Nugent an iguana? Our politicians check their scrotum in at the door, even Hillary, but obviously she has spare scrotums. Because Hillary is just covered in scrotums! <laughs> Humor of 2003, everyone! Um, the state of politics in America are heartbreaking, tragic, virtually self-inflicted, and I think I can, I think I'm speaking for everybody here. Yes. We would like to apologize to the heroes of the military for bending over since World War II and allowing a commander in chief who is the enemy of the U.S. military. I don't even know where to fucking begin with that statement. So the Commander-in-Chief, and by Commander-in-Chief you of course mean Obama, because, you know, just dumb, is the enemy of the military and since World War II they've been humping you because you've been bending over because Obama... Dude, I don't even fucking know. ...of the U.S. military. I'd like to apologize to the heroes of law enforcement for a, an Attorney General who commits more felonies than the people he lets go on television committing felonies, Black Panthers, Philadelphia, ad nauseum. 
So while I'm busy apologizing, because I didn't let my guard down. Except that time you did cocaine and meth, and that time that you crapped yourself to get out of Vietnam. Aside from those times, and a couple of other times where you said if you could find someone who was better than you, you'd suck someone's dick or something. And if you can find a screening process more powerful than that, I'll f Aside from those times, oh, and the time that you did it with an underage uh, girl fan of yours. Except for those times, and a couple of other times where you've... Anyway, aside from those times, your guard has just always been solid. I've been fighting this battle. I have no more capabilities than what I implement on a daily basis. Really? Oh, wow. I feel so bad for you right now. But I have obviously failed to galvanize and prod, if not shame, enough Americans. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry that you've been such a failure, Ted. Um, if it's any consolation to you, though, you've made me ashamed to be an American, so you kind of shame people. To be ever vigilant not to let a Chicago communist-raised, communist-educated, communist-nurtured, subhuman mongrel. But he's totally not racist like the ACORN community organizer, gangster Barack Hussein Obama, to weasel his way into the top office of authority in the United States of America. Should I bring up Vietnam again? I am heartbroken, but I am not giving up. I, I think America will be America again when Barack Obama, Eric Holder, Hillary Clinton, Dick Durbin, Michael Bloomberg and all of the liberal Democrats are in jail yes. facing the just due punishment that their treasonous acts are clearly um, apparent. I've said it before, Ted, and I'll say it again. You are such a fucking pussy. I mean, just not, not even bringing up this quotation, not even bringing up that. Although, I guess you could play that into this whole thing, given that you said this. And then nothing happened. So I take it this great and glorious Christian right-wing revolution won't really be fought on your part, will it? Actually, it would be kind of entertaining to see Ted Nugent in an actual firefight. I predict that the very first bullet that whizzes by his head causes him to collapse into a fetal position and start shitting his pants while he sucks his thumb. Actually, I'll go a step further, Ted. If anything really happened and you were involved, chances are you would surrender. Not only would Ted surrender, he would probably sell out his friends for a more lenient sentence after the war was over. Wait, did I say war? I meant to say 12-minute skirmish. Uh, so, those are, a lot of people would call that inflammatory speech. No, I'd call it being a pussy, because that's what you are. Well, I would call it inflammatory speech when it's your job to protect Americans, and then you ask you to look into the television camera and say, what difference does it make that I failed in my job to provide security and we have four dead Americans? What difference does that make? Ah, shit, I've run out of crap to talk about. Oh, uh, maybe I'll just spin the wheel of conspiracy theory here. Ah, hey, Benghazi! Not to a chimpanzee or to uh, Hillary Clinton. But I'm totally not racist. I guess it doesn't matter. And so I think that was the nod that this interview is over. Yeah. But all I can say is freedom is not free. Oh, oh man, do you feel that? It feels like I'm just being smothered in irony. And if you're not a member of the NRA, Nancy Pelosi likes you. And if you ain't waving your guns around in public, Obama and his gay laser's gonna turn you into a gay. And then you're gonna like Nick. Oh, God. And then you're gonna want health care for poor people. So, bitch. The commies are coming, Boris. The commies and the Mexicans. Care Bears are a sign of the devil. So is Fraggle Rock. And all them communist central shows, they all come from the devil. The devil and Obama, they all over the place. That's how I feel them crawling on me. Which means you're the enemy. Which by Ted Nugent's definition of the Second Amendment means he can line you against a wall and shoot you. But he's the good guy! It's at this point that you might be accusing me of being an anti-gun, gather up all the pistols and stuff and throw them on a bonfire and burn them, Hollywood liberal douchey something. But, okay, let me set the record straight. I support the Second Amendment. I just don't think 
that people with mental problems should get rifles. Also, I think before you get a gun, you should be given a criminal background check to make sure that, say, you're not a pedophile. I also think there needs to be maybe a, a little bit of a waiting period before you can get a gun and go out and shoot the guy who called your car gay. Just my opinion. I'm not saying that I think people should not be allowed to own rifles or guns, that people shouldn't be allowed to defend themselves. I'm just saying that maybe shooting someone in the back of the head as they walk away from your porch might be, like, not something we should allow and i also think that maybe insane people shouldn't be allowed to have grenade launchers and four or five fucking shotguns and seven ar-15s not that i think you shouldn't be allowed to have a basement armory far from it but i think if you're gonna have racks upon racks of all these different exotic guns that maybe the government should know and perform a psych eval on you so you don't strap on all those guns and kill a bunch of toddlers. Just my opinion. I mean, I know that makes me some kind of crazy radical left wing pussy who wants America to die. I realize that, but you know, it's just my opinion. Sorry for being the enemy. I'll go line up for you, Ted, because apparently Mr. Nugent doesn't feel like a man unless he's actively telling people that they need to be shot. Maybe I just don't get it, Ted. And that was Ted Nugent, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any trolls you want me to feed, list them in the comments below. And as always, have a good day. Took the bottle out of that thing, right?